Oh, how do you feel? putting into place a nine-year project to uh, have showers for every cell in my body by uh, the end of the project. Uh, this will cut $9 billion in spending from the federal budget. Uh, I want a shower. <laughs> I really want to stop being around people. I'm an introvert, Mr. Camera. Tim knows this. You don't. Uh, or Mrs. Camera. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, I guess, you know, I'm also, like, inspired or whatnot, but that's kind of overshadowed at the moment. Like, I, I might be inspired, inspired in a few hours, like... After your shower. Yeah, after I'm not just completely wasted. It was interesting to see how even people who say that they're open-minded, uh, this is relatively, uh, candid, I don't know, it's interact with the homeless, like, so Tim, you and I would talk to the homeless folks the whole time, getting who came out pretty much, um, but then like with that Mike guy, I was, I completely vibed with what he was saying, and I didn't think he was, I thought he was being a little pushy, like, going out of place, but when everybody was calling him crazy later, that's not the case. He was trying to impress upon us the importance that the magnitude of what we're doing is nothing by comparison to what being homeless is. Being homeless is not, oh no, am I going to be stabbed in the night? It's, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I don't know what's happening 20 minutes from now, 20 years from now. Um, and while you have a plan that's ever-changing because being homeless is also being spat upon by the rest of society, and uh, and you, a few days, you might feel a little worn out afterwards. But being homeless, you feel like hell the whole time. Is what I think he was trying to come across, bring across to us. And I think that was a really important message that would be easy to miss if you take the retreat in itself as experience of homelessness as opposed to experience of emulated homelessness. So while I think that I've learned more about homelessness and am more aware of some of the problems with being homeless, I'm no expert and I hope to never be. <laughs> I think of myself more as a leader now. Like I guess I've always kind of played up my ignorance of my leadership during the uh, during the speech just because, you know, exaggerating is a good leadership technique. Um, <laughs> Tim knows well. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I definitely became more knowledgeable of my strengths uh, and abilities in the leadership department through this. No, maybe None of it, it wasn't all radical knowledge, but there may be some radical knowledge in there and I'll have to do more ponderance to find that out. Whether or not you think it affects you, homelessness is a serious issue and should be a legitimate concern for any individual within the greater community of America because as Americans we have a civic duty to give to those who need. In some cases, that's taken to the extent of war, where we feel like we need to bring democracy and liberation to people who live under tyrannical rule. In other cases, uh, that is taken um, as ideas for global peace or for helping out on, uh, on green initiatives. But on a personal level, one of the greatest problems plaguing America is poverty and homelessness because it's the, they're people.
they are human beings, but they are treated like dog shit. I hope that I can say that because that is as accurate as I can put it. At Cass, we saw we saw them corralled, um, and while while Cass is trying to help, and I'm not dissing Cass in any way, um, that they only meet a partial need. And there's a need for real socialization that can't be met uh, in that sort of pedantic situation. Uh, instead, you have to approach them as individuals and as human beings, as equals to yourself, who are in a different life circumstance. And one great step is talking to the homeless when they talk to you, or just striking up conversation on the sidewalk. That was something that I never got uh, during my little bit, but of course I was with a lot of people. But it was something that it seemed like was nearly unanimous for every homeless person that we met, uh, is that they just wanted some conversation. And if you want to take it to a greater extent than that, giving some serious volunteer time uh, to any of these organizations is a great way to get more connected with people. But I would say that the most important thing is honestly develop and foster a relationship with one homeless person. And you turn it into a friendship, show them that you see them as an equal, not as someone who you're going to give them money every day, not as someone who can come in and trash your house, but also not as somebody who necessarily would come in and trash their, your house. Just, they're your friend, they're not a mooch, and they don't have to be a social leech. It just happens that way when you treat them like that. Um, that's all I have to say.